Okay, little CNC update, and I thought I'd get this on tape. Um, I am printing the first part for my new printer. Um, okay, so uh, this CNC machine is actually a gigantic heavy RepRap now. It is officially a RepRap. It is a RepRap, period. So um, we have... Bondo the dog. Hello, Bondo the dog. Um, who likes to sleep under the machine? Um, an Arduino Mega. Um, that is that is a rep wrap. That's running Marlin. And I've got some spaghetti I got to take care of, but um, it is going through these selector switches, which allow me to switch between Mach 3 and Arduino control. Find a place to be, Bondo. And. Uh, Okay, so there's that. I'm running the LCD um, deal, which I think is awesome. Um, and I find it amazing that I can change things in real time. Now, um, works incredibly well. Uh, the prints are great. Um, I tell you, I, I tried my darndest to get Mach 3 and a standalone extruder uh, controller to work. And... Um, I got it really, really close, but it's just I couldn't dial it in. Now, um, now that everything's mock or everything's um, rep wrap, it's incredible, and it's not even adjusted. I mean, I I haven't done any test prints yet. I haven't, you know, nothing. Um, I just kind of kept fiddling with it, and yeah, I'll tell you this: the LCD, the fact that you can fiddle with actual adjustments in real time on the fly, is <laughs> incredible. Works so well. So. Um, at any rate, uh, the problems I have run into, uh, number one, CNC machines are slow. This is designed to be, check this out, watch that. You see that, Phil? Um, this is an extremely heavy assembly. <laughs> Extraordinarily heavy, 40, 50, 60 pounds. It weighs a lot. And trying to make it go like that is a lot of things. A, hard to do. B, involves a whole lot of power and C most importantly is inc incredibly hard on the mechanics um, as a matter of fact I've blown this bearing already um, there's about a sixteenth of sixteenth of an inch of play in this bearing the the, uh, the uh, ball screw can actually play in there uh, I've got a new one on order to fix that but nevertheless and I'm not sure if it just blew out or if it's the fact that I've been printing I wouldn't be surprised if the printing helped it along. So, uh, so here's the deal. I'm making a um, I'm making a standalone printer, uh, belt drive, actually chain drive because that's um, I happen to have chain on hand. I've got a bunch of this really awesome little quarter inch chain, and um, so it'll be chain drive. I'm loving my extruder. My new extruder is just gorgeous, and. Um, you see this? I've got my little connectors all plugged in, all nice and neat. All right? Um, yeah. So basically, I am. I'm going to build a standalone machine, and I'm going to try to build it um, as beefy as I can, but also as cheap as I can. Um, I've got. Ugh, it's so rusted. I've still got some one-inch square tube um, left over. I've got 20 feet of that, so that should be a pretty good frame. And I've got some uh, some angle iron. This big beefy. Two and a half by two and a half. That'll be. I've, I've got uh, enough of this left over to make. I think an 18-inch square base. Um, so, 18 by 18 solid steel framework going up. It'll look a lot more like a rep wrap, but um, but metal. Uh, I'm going to use 10 mil, uh, 10 millimeter uh, on the rods and bearings and whatnots. And um, it's going to be good. I think I'm going to build it to the point where. Um, I can use it for different things. It'll be my fast machine, um, like my X carriage. Um, I'm going to put that on four posts instead of two, and I'm going to. It'll be a you know a steel frame with the rods in between, and then the head will slide. Um, but I'm going to make it in a way where I can affix different heads to it. Um, the the first thought in my head is um, a pick and place machine, some down sometime down the road, or a machine that can just the equivalent of, of a pick and place machine to um, I don't know pick up parts make you know assemble kits for me maybe I can put a muffin tin down it can drop screws <laughs> I don't know um, 
so um, but this is the first this is the first thing um, this is a 10 millimeter rod holder and we're gonna see if this works out if this does not work then um, which it looks it's actually the print is really good um, uh, looks like I'm gonna do like half inch aluminum and um, uh, and mill these brackets because they're like seven dollars a piece and uh, that's a lot when I need a bunch of them so at any rate um, the CNC machine as a giant rep wrap working incredibly well and I'll tell you this when I now that I have all of the rep wrap stuff figured out which was took some doing when I build the full size or the, uh, the dedicated machine the fast machine um, it should be a piece of cake to um, to uh, to transfer this over is basically just like change the steps on the motors and uh, acceleration curves and hit go oh and then also um, where are you where are you where are you where are you um, huh I thought I put my stuff with the thing and the this and the that and the moon and the stars well I was gonna show you um, something somewhere um, I got an SD card dealy um, so I can run this off SD card as well so the the new machine will be a standalone machine so I don't have to have a lappy um, a lappy tethered to the machine so, um, so there you go getting uh, prints I would say about 80% quality 80% of what I kind of am looking for but not too shabby at all I'm very excited to see this come out of here and see um, uh, what the final dimensions are, see if my steps are right. So, um, okay, seven minutes, that's enough. Any more on them rambling? Um, Woohoo! Ting!